Agriculture is the fourth biggest contributor to our emissions, nearly 15% of the total. Emissions have gone down because of the drought, but in normal times, it's a hard area to find cuts. Methane from livestock is the biggest problem. Each day, Australia's more than 90 million sheep and cattle produce vast amounts of the potent greenhouse gas. Which steer is going in chamber one? Uh, chamber one will be 28. Rob? There's a waste product produced, which is methane. It's at the front end of the digestive system, so 95% is belched out and exhaled out throughout the day. Near Townsville, Australia's National Science Agency, the CSIRO, is searching for a solution. The scientists here have been testing these animals' methane levels in airtight chambers. They've discovered the key to fixing what comes out is changing their diet. This is the version that's been oven dried. There's a, a piece of coral right there. So we, we don't want that in there. Scientist Dr. Rob Kinley is part of a team that found a variety of seaweed which cuts methane emissions to almost zero. This very special seaweed called asparagopsis was eliminating methane from those fermentations. All the seaweeds were doing a little something, but this one was rather unbelievable. We've just started measuring and we're reading 34.6 parts per million of methane. Farming the seaweed in commercial quantities and getting it into the diets of pasture-fed animals are big challenges. We still have lots of questions we're going to answer. We need a lot of um, new technology to come on board to make feed additives available to pasture-fed animals. That's something we'll be working on going forward. The way I see agriculture as part of a global strategy to meet the Paris Agreement's goals is that slow and steady is better in agriculture, whether it's in Australia or in India. Um, we need to look at measures that move forward slowly, that bring the farming community along, and that produce lasting and sustainable solutions.